all right so what's up guys and today in front of me i have the very old and very beloved nexus 5x and on this device i'm going to be putting android 12 um, a custom rom actually for android 12 um, i have already installed it on my nexus 5x as you can see um, there you go these are the g apps and this is the rom on the top so this is my first time booting it up and i actually wanted to do it in front of you guys um so the installation part will be at the very end uh right now i'm just gonna do reboot system and let's hope that it works so to actually make this work you will need to have a couple of things first things first you need to have an unlocked bootloader so you you will have to unlock the bootloader on your nexus 5x the next thing you'll need to want is the actual ROM file, um, the G apps, and if you want to root it later, you can also download and install Magisk and also a custom recovery. I would suggest um, download the TWRP recovery, but you can use um, any other recovery as well if you want. So yeah, let's just hope that it um, boots up and I am actually very excited. I know it's going to be laggy on the Nexus 5X because the last ROM I remember I put on this was Android 11 AOSP ROM and that used to lag like crazy. But I'm just happy to see the development for this device and yeah, and I'm just excited to try out um, Android 12 on the Nexus 5X. I think it's booting up. I saw the Google logo flash once. This actually looks like the um, Android 8 or 9 um, setup screen but as you can see you have the curved edges over here um, which are by software not the hardware because Nexus 5X had squared edges. So I'll just quickly start and I'll just skip through everything and let's see how it goes. There we go this is the um, all new um, setup screen. Um, this was not present on the previous Android setups. So there we go. We are in. I actually skipped through a bunch of processes. Um, oh my god. There we go. That's, I'm just going to quickly turn down the brightness a bit. And uh, oh my god. There you go, we can see Android, um, the Android 12 notification bar and the quick toggles menu. Um, I'll just quickly go into settings real quick. And um, oh my god, it actually looks really, really good. I'm going to go down. I'm going to go into about phone. I'm going to scroll down, Android version, Android 12. There we go. And there we go. This is the um, Android 12 on the... Nexus 5X. Um, quickly going into system, we, I'll just quickly change the gestures to let's see to the gesture navigation. Surprisingly, it's not that laggy. To be very honest, I expected it to be like crazy laggy, but um, it's not that laggy as you can see. It is a bit laggy though, but not that much. There we go. So I'll just quickly bring in my um, Pixel 3 here with me and we'll see how similar Android 12 is on the Nexus 5X and on the Pixel 3. I think it's going to be very very similar um, because it is basically a port. So yeah as you can see the um, app drawer is pretty pretty same it's just that the launcher is different uh, and uh, if you go into settings if you go into apps and if we see the default apps. Uh, you can see the home app uh, or the launcher is like a home app you can install any other launcher if you want but this just came in with the um, basic g apps that are installed uh, or, or flashed in twrp um, so jumping on to the notification panel as you can see it's pretty pretty similar and if we go down again we have the quick toggles as you can see very very similar and we can again scroll through different quick toggle menus a bit laggy on the nexus 5x but again it's like what a five or six year old device i don't expect a lot from the um, nexus 5x 
So I'll just quickly tap and hold on the home screen and let's see if we get the wallpaper and styles. Um, wallpaper and style, let's go always. Allow access and let's see how the um, wallpaper is. So if I just change wallpaper, okay, it crashes. So we don't get the um, wallpaper and style, we just get the wallpapers. Um, let's check out the widgets over here. Um, got it. Uh, let's see, clock, we have the default ones. I think once you install the, uh, so we, we do have the um, chat or the conversation here. We do have that. I think once you install the um, G apps, which are not the basic ones, but are the full fledged Android 12 G apps, you'll get every single feature, but you will have to wait until that is supported. Um, but then again, these are pretty, pretty neat. So if we go to settings, again, as you can see, settings is pretty, pretty similar. If you log into your um, device, you'll get the user icon over here. Uh, let's quickly go down. Let's go to wallpaper and let's see if we are able to change the wallpaper. So there we go. There we go. We are able to, in fact, change the wallpaper. Let's see. Okay, so you actually can't change the wallpaper, but yeah, you do have um, a dark theme toggle here as this. Other than that, you, you don't get the themed icons or app grid or even the colors that you have here. It will they it'll basically change according to the um, wallpaper that you have. So the colors will change according to your wallpaper, which again is pretty neat as it's a default and or staple Android 12 feature. If I go back again, let's see if we go to settings. So what I'll do now is I'll check if Wi-Fi works with this because um, when I install ROMs, I usually don't have my SIM card in it. So I can't actually check how good the network is. But a lot of people ask me to check how good the Wi-Fi is and if they can connect it to um, their Wi-Fi or not. If I go into internet, let's see. If I turn on the Wi-Fi, um, it actually gave me a bit of a hard time even during the um, setup screen. So I don't think Wi-Fi will work with this ROM, but um, yeah, I don't think Wi-Fi is going to work. Um, but if you want to know about the SIM card uh, or the network, if it's going to work, I'm so sorry, I can't confirm it because I don't have a SIM card in this device. Um, then again, if you go back, we have, if you go to battery, there you go, we get all the same features that we have in the um, battery section over here. If I go back, we, let's, let's go into sound. Uh, you can see it's a bit different. Even the names are a bit different. It says sound over here while it's sound and vibration. Uh, so I think this is like an early build of Android 12. Uh, and this is like the latest build of Android 12. Uh, so there might be a bit of a difference over here, but long story short, it actually is Android 12. And I mean, for a six year old device to run Android 12, it's pretty, pretty neat. Uh, the, another thing I noticed is the brightness level isn't, or the brightness isn't changing. Uh, I even turned off the adaptive brightness and tried again, but the battery is still, or the display is still not changing the brightness. Uh, then we have dark theme and we have colors and I don't think we have anything inside it but if you go back we have security and I think fingerprint works let's quickly check if it works or not let's do a quick pattern let's do a C and let's see if the fingerprint works or not I don't think it works it just crashed on me there we go so the fingerprint again isn't working but I think you can set a set up a pin for security. Let's quickly check that if it's possible or not. Um, yeah, you can definitely set a pattern. Let's quickly do it. Nope, nope. You can't even set a screen lock. I mean, for a six or five year old device, are you even going to be using it daily? I don't think so. So all these things, I don't think it they matter. Um, but again, about phone, uh, we have Nexus 5X, uh, Android 12, and I'll just quickly enable the developer options real quick. And if I go into system, 
if we go to developer options let's see what all features we have here um, we have the DSU loader which is again by default um, so yeah I don't see any major changes to uh, developer options but if you go into gestures again we have the swipe fingerprint for notifications so you can swipe on the back of the fingerprint and uh, you can actually access the notifications from there uh, so that's a good thing again uh, then if I go back let's see what else we have so we have press and hold power button for assistant so if you press the power button it did vibrate on me but I don't think it will actually launch Google Assistant because of the Google Apps packages and I don't think I have every single app here there we go we don't even have the Google app but let's see if Play Store works I don't think it will work because we can't even access Wi-Fi in this um, but if you're someone who wants to try this um, I would say try it with your SIM card and give it internet access but for now Wi-Fi is not working on this particular build so yeah again there's not much to do um, we can also install a Google camera here I'll leave it linked in the description down below for this specific build but other than that um, we have all the basic and the default Android 12 features in this I don't see anything different here it's just that this is the um, previous and not the latest Android um, 12 build we can actually make out the build number let's see so this is like 2021 this is like October 2021 uh, so again not the latest build but let's see if you go back if you go to a system and if you go into system update it says that it is on the latest again it won't be able to check for updates because we don't have Wi-Fi access but if you go into security uh, we have the October 5 again confirming that this is not the latest Android 12 version but other than that as you can see it is actually working and I'm actually very very surprised it is working you, you get all the Android 12 features that we have the um, quick toggle menu we have these um, we can also edit them if you want we have a bunch of extra quick toggles as well so I mean yeah I, I don't think there's any more to show in this particular ROM it is what it is this is the Android 12 ROM on the Nexus 5X and personally I am very happy that developers are still supporting this device even after five uh, or five and a half years or so so yeah pretty happy to check it out and um, if you want to try it on your device just to show off to your friends uh, I'll put a link in the description down below for the ROM for the G apps um, for the Google camera mod and basically every single thing you can also put magic in this if you want but other than that that is pretty much it all right so I'm actually editing the video right now um and i forgot to add the part where i tell you guys how to install this rom on your nexus 5x um so all you have to do is first things first is power off your device and once your device is powered off all you do later is go into your recovery so as i mentioned in the video you have to have a custom recovery installed uh, and to actually go to the custom recovery all you do is hold the power and the volume down button at the same time you'll get this screen and then you go to the recovery mode so once into the recovery so i have the twrp recovery um you can use any recovery that you want but i would suggest you guys use the twrp recovery because it, it is like the most supported recovery out there um so yeah let's uh, wait until it loads I'm actually recording this handheld um, because why not all right so it is taking a bit of a time um, so if it does not boot into recovery uh, what I'll do is I'll just tell you guys how to install it uh, so first things first you do is wipe your 
um that'll be cash uh your system your um cash and just do not um format the internal storage because you will need that but i mean what i do is i usually uh, wipe the delvic art or the delvic cash system uh, the regular cash and i reboot into recovery and later i again format the data uh, because i don't like to keep anything or my previous files on my uh, on the latest rom so once you have formatted every single thing um all you do is just install the rom swipe to install install the gapps again swipe to install or basically swipe to flash um so once the rom and gapps are flashed you're good to go and yeah that is that is pretty much it again thank you for watching this video and um yeah i don't think it's going to boot into recovery so i'll have to flash the stock rom on this again so yeah thank you for watching and back to the video this is the nexus 5 running android 12 if you like this video give it a big thumbs up or do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and yeah that is it thanks for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next one